morning comments, and welcome to your What Am, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have sports, entertainment, your daily weather look, lookout, and campus events. I'm your host, Savory Parker. Protests are spreading all across Iran despite violent government crackdowns. Human rights groups say over 180 protesters have been killed by Iran's security forces and thousands have been injured or arrested. But the demonstrations can, can continue to grow. Workers from Iran's oil sector are going on strike this week, and activists are calling for more work stop pages. The protests began last month after 22-year-old Masa Amin was arrested by Iran's mortality police force for not covering her hair in public and was killed while in their custody. The protesters are calling for the outs outster of Iran's ruling regimen. Russia says it has been... It has arrested eight people suspected of carrying out last weekend's explosion on the bridge connecting Russia and Samarima, which Russia's illegally annexed eight years ago. The FSB, the agency that succeeded the Soviet-era KGB, says it detained five Russians and three citizens of Ukraine and Armenia. Ejvin Iowa schools... Our el eligible Iowa schools can get up to six, $630,000 to invest in food service equipment. The Biden administration announced the funding today as part of an $80 million effort to improve children's nutrition in schools. Applications are now open through November 28th for school districts participating in the National School Lunch Program. Iowa is getting more than $96 million to invest in small businesses. Funding comes from the U.S. Department of the Treasury under the State of Small Business Credit Initiative. It will go towards investing in startups, proving low-interest loans, helping undeserved businesses, and improving equipment for manufacturers. Iowa is among 31 states to be approved for the funding. When we come back, we will be taking a look at wit sports entertainment news and weather stay with us I've had a bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on what I am Monday through Thursday for your morning news and this week on campus every Friday. My name is Tosa Nihikioya and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WITTV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. For sports, the Minnesota Vikings are adding some secondary depth as they begin week six. The, the Minnesota Timberwolves continue their preseason with the game against the Los Angeles Lakers at Crypto.com area tonight. The offseason is in full swing for the Minnesota Twins. Marvel Studios is shifting the dates, the release dates for some of its upcoming films. <laughs> Mar Marsha Ali's Blade will now release on September 6th of 2024. The Ryan Reynolds led Deadpool 3 will now hit in theaters on November 8th of 2024. And the Fantastic Four reboot will debate 
will debut on February 14th, 2025. Avengers Secret Wars, which will end the franchise multiverse saga, is moving to May 1st of 2026. A brown bear named 747 is reclaiming his title as champion of Fat Bear Week. Officials at Alaska's Katama Katama National Park estimate the massive bear weighs over 1,400 pounds and the compensation is held at this time each year at the Brooks River where bears bulk up on salmon to prepare for the hibernation ahead of the long winter. Taking a look at today's weather, we will have some increasing clouds with a high near 65. It will also be a bit breezy with wind gusts reaching as high as 40 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with low around 41 and wind gusts reaching as high as 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 58 with a high gust of winds of 45 miles per hour. Today on campus from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., there will be a career fair that is program specific. During the event, there will be job opportunities and information about different companies. The, in the cafeteria, there will be bingo with Mike and Tito from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with prizes. Feel free to stop by. Thanks for joining us. Please check up on the latest with TV programming and our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day.